So another new component that Bootstrap 5 added to the mix is the off canvas component. This is a component which allows us to basically create some kind of slide in sidebar and you can see in action if we click on this button. So it slides in and we can put whatever content we want inside it right here. And if we click away from it somewhere, it slides back out. But you can also place them on any other edge of the page. So it can come in from the left side, the top, the right side or the bottom. So this is a really nice addition to Bootstrap and it's also really simple to implement. Okay, so much like the modal, this is going to be split up into two parts. First of all, we need to code some kind of button or trigger. A user is going to click on that to open the off canvas. So secondly, we need to code up the off canvas. Let's start with a trigger and that's going to go in this top section next to the buy now button or underneath it. So what I'm going to do is in that top section right here, underneath the buy now button, I'm going to paste in a bit of code, it's dead simple, an anchor tag with an href equal to the ID of sidebar. That tells the anchor to look for a particular ID and when we click on this it knows which ID to open, which off canvas to open. Secondly we have a class of d-block to display this as block because by default it's inline and when we display it as block we can add margin top and bottom which I do right there just to the top. Then we have this data bootstrap toggle attribute which is equal to off canvas so bootstrap knows what kind of functionality is going on when we click on this. The role is button and the area controls is sidebar so this tells screen readers we're controlling a sidebar with this button or link and it says explore my other books inside. So if I save this and preview we can see that link right here. Now at the minute if we click on this absolutely nothing happens. So now we need to code up the off canvas itself which will open and it should have this ID right here sidebar. So we're going to do that right at the bottom. I've made a comment for this right here. Okay so let's start off by creating the div which is the off canvas. So we'll give this a class of off canvas like so and also off canvas hyphen start. So this second class is the position of the off canvas. By start I mean the left. You know how we have margin start and margin end. The start means left, the end means right. So that could be end and it would come in from the other side, the right, or it could be top or it could be bottom. For us we're going to go with start because I want it to come in from the left. I'm also going to paste in a few more attributes. Tab index minus one takes it out of the tab index if you're tabbing through the page. The ID is sidebar to match what the link said and then aria labeled by is equal to sidebar label. That's going to go inside this sidebar div. So we can have a couple of things in here. We're going to have an off canvas header so that's kind of like a title at the top of the sidebar and then also the off canvas body. Now before we do that let me just save it and see if this works. I'm going to click on this and we can see this sheet slide out from the left and let me just show you the other examples. If I say this is going to be end and save it and click on this link we see it come out from this side and if I say top it should come up from the top or down from the top rather yep and if we go bottom save it click this comes in from the bottom so very nice and we just click away to close it awesome let's stay with start like so all right so we need now an off canvas header a title inside the sidebar so let's do a div for that with a class of off canvas hyphen header and by the way, I'm not a massive fan of this name off canvas purely because it's quite hard for me to say. So if I mess up saying it, I do apologize. Anyway, inside that, I'm going to do an H5 and that's going to have a class of off canvas hyphen title. And also we'll give this an ID equal to sidebar hyphen label. So, you know, like we said, the aria labeled by was sidebar label that's this thing right here so screen readers know that the title for this section is right here so inside this i'm going to say my other books like so now we also want to have a close button inside even though they can just close anywhere on the screen by clicking it let me show you this explore my other books there's the title if we click away then it closes it not everyone's savvy on the web knows to do that so we're gonna put a close button a little cross up here somewhere as well so I'm gonna paste in this button right here so the type is button 
The class is BTN close, much like in the modal, and it styles it as a cross. And then the data bootstrap dismiss is equal to off canvas. It knows to dismiss or close the off canvas. And then the aria label close. So if I save this now and preview, we can see that close button right here. And that does exactly the same thing. Awesome. Okay, so that's the header. Next, we want the off canvas body. So div, and that's going to have a class of off canvas hyphen body. And by the way, you can put whatever code you want in here. You don't have to structure it exactly the way I'm doing this. So I'm going to do a paragraph tag and inside that a load of lorem ipsum. So save that and preview. And now we can see this information inside. Awesome. So there we go, my friends. That's how easy it is to create the sidebar or as Bootstrap likes to call it, an off canvas. Next up, we're going to take a look at drop downs.